Fantastic. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Well done, Xavier. You've got a great future ahead of you. Uh, Alexis, has the weekend weather? It's really simple. It's rain. Yes, lots of it? rain. Really high rainfall totals, which could cause some problems. Liz Hallett, though, took this shot of the flooding today in Romsey. Richard Murgatroyd uh, photographed storm damage here, of course, Storm Alex, uh, in Bovington. And a Merriam Woodland photographed a boat on its side in Selsey. Today we had some high rainfall totals leading to some localised flooding up to 2.2 inches in Wiganholt in West Sussex. That's um, a record really for around half an inch of rainfall in a short period of time in 24 hours. This flooding in Eastleigh was captured by one of our weather watchers earlier on today. We're expecting further flooding as we head through the weekend with some torrential rain at times. And so that heavy rain will be accompanied at times by fairly brisk winds, but not as strong as this morning. This morning we saw wind gusts of 61 miles per hour for the south coast. Now we're Expecting some heavy rain, this amber weather warning. It's a higher warning than a yellow warning. And that's in, in for Dorset and Wiltshire for midday tomorrow until 6 a.m. on Sunday morning. And there's also a yellow warning in force for eastern parts of the region. So the highest rainfall totals are expected for western areas, but eastern areas could still see some really quite pokey rainfall totals during the early hours of the morning. So tonight we're expecting some heavy rainfall at times. Uh, that could lead to localised flooding in many areas. As that rain band moves around the area of low pressure, it will stay with us through the day tomorrow. Tomorrow. So highs turn, well, lows tonight of 11 to 12 degrees. Still some really quite heavy rainfall tomorrow. That gradually moves westward. You can see it lingers for western areas, which is why the amber weather warning is in force for Dorset and Wiltshire. Eastern parts having some brighter and drier conditions during the afternoon, with temperatures up to around 14, maybe 15 degrees. So on the inshore waters tomorrow, that's from Selsey Bill to Lyme Regis, midday tomorrow until midday on Sunday. The winds are variable, 2 to 4, becoming northwesterly, then backing westerly or south westerly 5 to 7 and the sea state is moderate moderate or rough further rain is expected tomorrow night it could be torrential during the early hours of sunday morning once again leading to those really quite high rainfall totals gradually easing south southern areas later on with lows on sunday morning of around nine celsius but then that rain band moves southwards once again on sunday as you can see, it moves southwards. This area of low pressure is the cause and we'll have a squeeze on the isobars. So the winds will be fairly brisk during the course of Sunday with rain first thing, followed by showers through the afternoon and maybe some bright spells later on. But generally, we are looking at a very soggy weekend all in all. We could see some really quite torrential downpours at times leading to localised flooding and the winds will be gusty at times, particularly overnight as we head overnight tonight and overnight on tomorrow night into Sunday morning into next week remaining fairly unsettled we are definitely in autumn sally oh we are alexis thank you very much uh, that's it more at 10 30 of course whatever you're doing this weekend uh, have fun and stay safe thanks for watching bye-bye good night